Hey y'all, it's Lauren and Jamie. This is the Afternoon Pick-Me-Up. All right, y'all, we are back this week with the Afternoon Mm Pick-Me-Up. This is episode four, and we've got a fun little kind of segment for you guys today. We're going to be talking about our fast food orders. I know. Me and Jamie, I feel like we eat, like, relatively clean, Mm -hmm. but every now and then we just get in a mood where we love a good drive through meal. Who doesn't? I just told Lauren that this past weekend I went to Chick-fil-A three times, so. Um, But as usual, we are here with some extra content for you guys. Right whenever you hit your afternoon slump on a Wednesday, Mm -hmm. we're going to pick you up. And um, this week, we're going to also get you pretty hungry. Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. Two and one. So I guess since we're already talking about Chick-fil-A, let's dive in with that. What's your go-to order? Okay, my Chick-fil-A order literally never changes. Um, It's a spicy chicken sandwich meal with no pickles on the sandwich and a large fry and a large ice water. That sounds crazy, but I just love a big giant Chick-fil-A ice water. And the uh, sauces that I get, I do two Chick-fil-A sauces for the fries and one ketchup packet for the sandwich. Wow. Holy. Very very specific. (laughs) Damn. Okay. That's intense. Um, Mine for Chick-fil-A. Fun fact, there was no Chick-fil-A in my hometown growing up. The first time I ever had Chick-fil-A was when I got to Penn State. Wow. Mm-hmm. Now, so now having it down the road, hence why I went three times last weekend. <laughs> so mine for Chick-fil-A, originally I was definitely like the chicken nugget girl. Would get that all the time. Now I get the grilled chicken sandwich. You, no tomato, of course. You're going to die. I get extra pickles on it. Ah, why? <laughs> I freaking love pickles. So I get that and then I get the Chick-fil-A sauce on the side. Of course, with the fries, so freaking good. And I get, I'm so weird about this, but I get a large Diet Dr. Pepper light ice. Light ice? Wow. Literally everyone in my family, if like whenever we get drinks, we get extra ice. Really? See, I'm looking at it from the way that like I want my money's worth. I'm going to get more. That makes sense. I know a lot of people like that and it makes total sense. Like why would you not? But we love that ice. Up next is Taco Bell. My Taco Bell order is also like religious level. I never mix it up at Taco Bell either. I get one chicken quesadilla, one beefy five layer burrito, and the chips and cheese. And then if I'm feeling like crazy, I'll add like a hard taco in. Wow. Also at Taco Bell, no drink, no sauce. I I swear to God, I've never gotten a drink at Taco Bell except for like a Baja Blast when I was like 15. That's crazy. I don't know why. (laughs) That's so random. Yeah, what? I know. Okay, um, me for Taco Bell, I was telling Lauren that also growing up, I would go to Taco Bell all the time. It was just like my favorite fast food place. And I would get three soft shell tacos, nachos and cheese, and a Baja Blast. Always. And with the mild sauce on the side. (laughs) loved it religiously for me and honestly when I go now that's what I get to or a um, crunch wrap supreme no tomatoes yum when I was younger I would get the Mexican pizza but like once they took it off the menu I know it's back now but I just haven't picked it back up I've never had that it's good maybe I'll pick it back up I guess we gotta go to Taco Bell and try it side note we were talking about this um whenever you get the chips and cheese at Taco Bell it comes with we swear five chips only always it's made for babies I'm telling you like as a child it was so satisfying and now as an adult I'm like what is this it's not even a side order it's like a bite (laughs) next up Wendy's well I'm a creature of habit every single place I go I literally don't ever get anything else um my Wendy's order is the 10 count spicy chicken nugget meal with a medium fry and I get a sweet tea at Wendy's and I get the barbecue sauce for the nuggets and ketchup for the fries Ooh. Mm-hmm. And if I'm on my period, I will get a like chocolate vanilla swirl frosty. Oh, yes. I was going to say that is definitely part of my routine. <laughs> um, love the chicken nuggets at Wendy's. Their fries are immaculate. They have some kind of new recipe, right? Yeah, they um a couple years ago they like made the like hand cut sea salt version fire. So good. Um, and you have to get that frosty, a chocolate frosty, because you have to dip the fries in the chocolate frosty. I'm gonna say something disgusting. You ever dipped a chicken nugget in that thing? No. I'm telling you, the spicy chicken nugget dipped in the frosty, it feels so wrong, but it tastes so right. The spicy one? Yep. Ooh. Floor it. Next, McDonald's. I get the 10 count um, chicken nugget meal at McDonald's, and I'll usually upgrade this. I'm getting a large fry. Those fries are unreal. Mm-hmm. Large sweet tea, and then I also like to get a little junior cheeseburger on the side 
with just ketchup and cheese on it. Like the teeniest one they have. Like just for a little bite of a McDonald's cheeseburger. And uh, sauces, I do barbecue sauce and ketchup. Yeah, their barbecue sauce is so good. It's perfect, and I don't think it would be good on any other fries, but with theirs, it's just gorgeously sweet. So good, so good. Yeah, mine's definitely a 10 count for sure. I used to do a six count all the time, actually, if I didn't want anything too big. Um, but as a child, I freaking loved those Happy Meals because when they did the like Disney edition, I was hyped. <laughs> To get those little Disney characters, like I'd be staring in that little plastic, like bin looking thing of like, here are all the toys that you can get. And I would never get Ariel. I would never get the one that I wanted. I'm upset. So oh. upset. All right, y'all. Whoa. Oh my God. I didn't even say what? my most favorite thing about McDonald's their Diet Coke. Oh my God, duh. <laughs> Wait, we just had this conversation like every Sunday in college on my way to go grocery shopping, I would religiously stop at McDonald's and get a large Diet Coke with taxes a dollar and seven cents. <laughs> she knows the price. Look, I have always heard, so I don't drink like soft drinks, but I've always heard people say that like the McDonald's soft drink is like unmatched. Unmatched. Why? I have no idea, but it's so crisp. And it's like when you want it, you want it so bad. And when they hand it to you in that drive-thru and you take that first sip, like, you know, in commercial, commercials where they're like, ah, like, ah, oh. you just you just do it naturally. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe I almost forgot that. I know. We were literally talking about it like right before this, y'all. Yeah, we walked in and our producer like had some McDonald's and I literally looked at him and I was like, is that a large Diet Coke from McDonald's? And he was like, yeah, how do you know that? I'm like, no, that's like my go-to. She smelled it from outside. For real. <laughs> Next up, this is kind of fast food, but Starbucks. Mm -hmm. My order fluctuates with the seasons, but I've been on for a while the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I think I actually mentioned this on the afternoon pick-me-up, like episode one. Mm -hmm. um, but now that it's like getting kind of fall outside, I think I'm going to actually add like a little dash of their pumpkin syrup mm. and see how it feels. I feel like brown sugar pumpkin for fall would be really good. Um, and if I'm hungry, I love their bacon, egg, and gouda little breakfast sandwich. Flames. Really good. I love their um, little egg white thingies. Those are really good and they're full of protein so they keep you full for a while. Those are a good little snack. Yeah. Um, and then drink wise, I know I always go back and forth. Sometimes I'm just like a basic coffee person and I'm getting like the sugar-free vanilla in it or whatever the heck. Mm -hmm. But something that they have back that I'm really excited about is their chocolate like cream cold brew Ooh. with the like foam on top. It's like their chocolate foam on top of a cold brew. So freaking good. So good. It tastes like chocolate milk. Oh my God. Okay, that sounds really good. Seriously. So that's kind of been like my go-to recently. Um, I was telling Lauren that I don't really eat or drink pumpkin things, which is so weird because I feel like I fall into that like upstate New Yorker starter fall girl pack, but I never have anything pumpkin. So I need to try pumpkin. Um, and their apple macchiato sounds really scary to me, but I've heard it's good. I like don't know where I stand on apple things because I really like like a cider, but I don't know if I want to mix the apple with coffee. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't want it to taste too like fake. Yeah. Mm, yes. That's what scares me. <laughs> okay, y'all. Zaxby's. Last on our list. My Zaxby's order also never changes. Big Zach snack and I'm getting the tenders tossed in buffalo and on the side I'm doing ranch for the chicken and Zach sauce for the fries and I'm always getting a sweet tea because they have the best tea. You and the sweet teas. I love it. That's all. Well, I don't drink any soft drinks so I pretty much if I'm not drinking water it's tea every time. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, guys, I've got a curveball for you. I've never had Zaxby's before. What? What? Yeah, no, I've never had it. How? I don't know. I mean, moving down to Georgia, like Popeyes, Zaxby's, I mean, even having a Chick-fil-A, like all of these things I never had. Okay, you should treat yourself like one day this week and go to Zaxby's. Just their regular chicken tenders with the Zach sauce, so good. But like their buffalo and they have wings. Mm -hmm. You could eat you some like ice cold chicken wings. Ooh. <laughs> ice cold chicken wings. We talk about that on the podcast, guys. Yeah, that's going to come out later. Jamie confesses to eating cold things. Um, <laughs> so it, even though I can't contribute to Zaxby's, I can contribute to Popeye's. Okay. Um, The Popeye's blackened grilled chicken strips, mm -hmm. so good. Really? Really freaking good. You are so much better than me. Like if I'm doing fast food, I never get grilled. I'm like flooring it. Like I, if I'm going to do fast food, I'm going to do it. So mm -hmm. I like go deep fried everything. I've literally like never ordered grilled from a fast food place ever. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that Popeye's had grilled. <laughs> they do and they're really good and they're full of protein so. Wow. Yeah. That sounds really good. Okay I want to try them. Oh my god now I'm so hungry. I am too. 
<laughs> Sorry, <God>. all. <laughs> yeah, those are all of our little recommendations mm-hmm. for our fast food places. I love finding new things. See, now I'm hyped to go to Zaxby's and try that. Try the Zaxby's, and I'm going to try that grilled Popeyes. <laughs> That's your afternoon pick-me-up for this week, y'all. Let us know in the comments what your favorite fast food orders are. Like, I'm dying to know. Yeah, and if you have any favorite sauces, too, I feel like that's always kind of like a secret thing that people love, and what do you mix it with? Yeah. I really wanted to put Cane's on this list, but we don't have a Cane's here, and I know you've never had it, but, like, (laughs) I just, like, feel like I just want to shout out, like, Cane's, bro. That's my all-time favorite fast food place, and it kills me that we don't have one. Really? It's just the Cane sauce and their garlic bread. It's just the best ever. As we've mentioned before, if you don't know, we also have a podcast called the Chicks and Dip Podcast that comes out every Monday. Yep, y'all can uh, catch us on YouTube bright and early Monday morning or on Apple uh, Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you can find a podcast, we're there. Yeah, make sure to follow us on social media, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, at Chicks and Dip Pod. And if there's anything that you guys want us to chat about to get you out of the slump, let us know. Let us know, y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.